for today's lunch, I will try this craft dinner, KD, Alfredo. Mm. Uh. I am back. Yeah, smells very good. Very good smell. Cheese and garlic style smell, but it looks very gross during the cooking. Yeah. It looks like my uh, my toe, uh, toe nail. <laughs> I just followed very formal instruction written here. Mm, all right, let's try. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Before cooking, I thought it would be very greasy, oily, but it has kind of impactful taste to me. Mm. This could be a little too mild taste. Mm. So maybe a, a few Koreans will find something spicy one. Uh, for example, kimchi. Eating with this one with kimchi or adding some spicy sauce. Yeah. Like this. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Um, Tabasco, this one, the hot sauce, is actually more spicier than Korean hot sauce. Mm. Not bad. I think this is like ramen in Korea. Mm. Um, I googled this product and I, I found that so many people in Canada or in US, actually not this one, uh, the main product is uh, mac and cheese or just called KD. Mm. This is just Alfredo, a little bit different one. In Korea, so many people eat ramen. Nobody think that is a good, the real ramen, but it's very common, cheap and easy to cook. And ramen is everywhere in, in Korea. Maybe some people think that this video is sponsored by Tabasco company. <laughs> mm. I can enjoy this kind of uh, flavor, but sometimes the real Western, the real energy, thick, um, the very deep, greasy Western style food is so difficult to understand the flavor. Yeah, the military cereal um, was kind of food. Mm. Mm. It's really good with Tabasco hot sauce. Yeah. It's not like uh, Tabasco hot sauce with um, other food. This is very compatible. All right. Thank you for watching. And next time, I will come back with the real uh, KD mac and cheese. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.